Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcome to you to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. Today's topic is slightly older means a technology which was used before. It was very popular to start with in photography and then it was uh, used in also uh, X-ray. However, today it is replaced by dry and laser processing. However, it is still we should know it because this technology was earlier used extensively and it is an important landmark that's why we should know it now to start with are the disclosure acknowledgement and disclaimers most of the material which we are using for this illustration has come from our departmental teaching however some portion some part some illustration some diagrams might have been downloaded from uh, net however we have made sure that these are royalty free however still we acknowledge with thanks from those we have got this now let's get going to the xa film processing topic today or we can call this as a dark room processing or as a wet processing the film processing development is a chemical process that amplifies the latent image by a factor of million to form a visible silver pattern silver is black when we see on the film the basic reaction is reduction of silver ion which changes it to black metallic silver that is silver ionic to ionization and then silver as a metallic silver now the developer is the reducing agent and development is generally and overall a non phenomenon thus time is a fundamental factor in developing process if adequate time is given to processing chemical processing you will get good results and this entirely is a manual function not like machine which processes it in automatic processor so the process is same chemical reaction is same at one place we are using manually and other we are using a automatic processor where the timing is fixed now process is usually initiated at a site of a latent image spec action of silver atoms in the latent image is to accelerate to catalyze the reduction of the silver ions in the grain by the developing chemicals silver in the grain which does not contain latent image can be reduced by a developer but at a much slower rate further in film processing the development should be discontinued when the differential between the exposed and developed grains and unexposed developed grains is at a maximum modern developing solution contain two developing agents that is hydroquinine plus phenidone or mentol popular call mentol now hydroquinone requires a strong alkali to activate it mentol develops a characterized by the high speed low contrast and a fine grain it develops into both mentol and phenidone are used mainly in combination with a hydroquinone so it's a combination of chemicals which are used for the development of film two agents are used because of pheno the phenomenon of synergism or synergism is when two help each other and they enhance the efficiency or super additivity developing agent reduces silver ion to metallic silver causing oxidation and inactivation of the developing agent and liberation of the hydrogen ions when hydroquinone is iodized to quinone two electrons are liberated to combine with the two silver ions to form a metallic silver that's how a ionized silver gets converted into a metallic silver the reaction must proceed in a alkaline media now here we are given the reaction if you are interested in more details pause it and i have a detailed look in it the important thing is it is done in alkaline media it's a chemical process and it has to take its own time to get it completed with adequate ph now developing solution contained developing agents then alkalis to adjust ph now preservatives like sodium sulfate 
they can you can call them as the stabilizers also and restrainers or the anti fogants because they have to have uniform coating over the film so that a process of chemical action can take place properly alkali also serve as a buffer to control the hydrogen ion liberated during the development reaction most radiographic developers function at ph of 10 to 11.5 that is alkaline ph typical hydroxide include sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate and borates they are also important to adjust the ph the oxidation production of the developing agent decomposes alkaline solution and forms a colored material that contain stain emulsions so this colored emulsion one thing can slow on or retard the their chemical reactions so also it can cause a discoloration over the film these product reacts rapidly with the sodium sulfide to form a colorless soluble sulfonate so this has to take place otherwise the films you have developed will be looking brown if they look brown then you will have to check at this level now sodium sulfide acts as a preservative by decreasing the rate of oxidation fog is development of unexposed silver halide grains that do not contain a lighter image so they are disturbing to us they reduce the clarity of the image now sodium sulfide is added for two reasons the dilute concentrations of the soluble bromides that is potassium bromide decreases the rate of fog formation now fog is our enemy it reduces the accuracy of the image now soluble bromide produces as a product of development process also effect the activity of the developer the development reaction is a 90 second that is in automatic processor 90 second x ray processor must be completed in 20 second so if total cycle is of 90 seconds the development gets 20 second and for that how we achieve is by increasing the temperature so automatic processor always has got higher temperature of the developer this rapid rate of development require that the temperature of the developing solution be quite high usually 90 to 95 degree fahrenheit not centigrade it's fahrenheit the rapid high temperature rate of the developing requires that modern x ray developers contain additional anti fogants to permit rapid development the most significant difference in the commercial x ray developing solutions is in the anti fogants and preservatives they use that makes different companies different quality of the developers now developers formulas also contain other ingredient designed to influence the swelling of the film that is the emulsion development rate and physical properties the bromide ions released by reduction of the silver ions to the silver atoms pass into a developing solution this increased bromide concentrate limits the life of the developing solution what is replenishment developing solutions consume developing agents now uh, once the process is going on once the film is in processor that is in the developer the developing solution will be used and that will consume also developing agents and preservatives but not all are used so each time a film is processed in a anti automatic processor we have to add a small portion of the developing solution because there will be re removal of some trans solution reason is a dry film goes into a developer so when it become wet it takes some amount of developer with it now this developer which is being taken away by the film needs to be replaced so this is done by replenishment to maintain the agent concentration and preservative concentration bromide concentration and ph at a constant level for the next films which are serially films are coming that is the replenishment what we do high volume developing reaction depends on the application here the development reaction may be written as now this is in detail a chemical reaction those who are interested can pause it and i have a closer look at it let's proceed 
Each time a film is processed, bromide, acid are formed and some developer is consumed. Replenishment of the developer must concentrate for these changes by being free of bromides, by containing alkali agents and buffers and also restoring the depleted preservative and developing agents. That only will ensure that next film which is coming will have proper chemicals to get developed. Lifetime of a tank of a developer in a high volume automatic processor is about 2 to 3 months. But please note it depends on the workload and 2 months is a maximum time because after that as we have talked just now it will get discolored. A typical replenishment rate is to replace 60 ml of developer with each replenisher for 14 by 70 inches film. But however, in the X-ray department, not all films are 14 by 17. There are different type of films used. Therefore, a radiologist has to watch whether the things are getting correct or increase or decrease this flow. Now, low volume that is X-ray oxidation reaction dependent applications in this solution, oxidation of developer becomes more important than the development reaction. The oxidation may be written as this is a chemical formula. Please pause it and have a closer look at it. Now, oxidation reaction raise the pH of the developer by forming sodium hydroxide. This is just the opposite of the development reaction in which the acid form lowers the pH. Also, the oxidation reaction produces no bromides. In low volume applications, developer have a lower pH and higher sulphide concentration to retard oxidation and a high buffering capacity to minimize the pH effect of the oxidation. Now we have seen developer, we are continuing replenisher. The replenisher concentrated may mostly for oxidation rather than for development. The replenisher has a lower pH than the developer and contains bromide. The development rate is usually higher about 90 ml to increase the developer turnover time. Now a fixer, we have seen developer, we have seen replenisher, now a fixer. Only a part of silver halide in the emulsion is reduced to silver during the development. The remaining silver halide impairs both the intermediate and usefulness of the presence of developed radiograph. Therefore, it must be removed but the fixing solution is controlled by the concentration of silver and the halide ions. The solubility of silver halide in a water solution is controlled by the concentration of the silver and halide ions. Continuing fixing, the product of silver and bromide ions in a solution is always constant for any given temperature and may be expressed by the equation. Silver ions, x bromide ions is equal, is equal to constant. For function of the fixing agent is to form water soluble complex in which silver ions are tightly bound. So, what it means? The silver which is in ionic form is not useful for the imaging, needs to be removed and this work is done by the fixer. So, the function of fixing agent is to form water soluble complexes in which silver ions are tightly bound and they should get released. The soluble complex thus form effectively removes the silver ions from the solution. Two agents for this satisfactory suitable complexes with silver ions and cyanides and thiosulfates. Cyanides are poisonous and not generally used. Thiosulfate is in the form of sodium or aluminium salt is common for fixing agent popularly called as hypo. Now, silver bromide plus silver thiosulfate is equal to silver thiosulfate complex plus sodium bromide. The ammonium thiosulfate salt is more active and is used in liquid fixer. In addition to thiosulfate, the fixing solution contains a substance to harden the gelatin that is called as hardener. 
that is used more for the automatic processor but also can be used for the manual processing. Harner results in decreasing the swelling of the gelatin, making it tougher and more resistant to aberrations that is the durational film and its handling. The hardener is usually a chromium or aluminium compound. The fixing bath also contains an acid, stabilizers and a buffer to maintain the acidic pH. In comparatively fixing film apparently milky or cloudy. So, if you are finding a film coming out which is milky or cloudy, you should conclude that a fixer is either not proper, is exhausted or appropriate time is not given for the fixing. This is a result of depression of transmitted light by a very small silver iodobromide crystals that have not been dissolved from the emulsion. So, undissolved salts can cause fogging of the film or milkiness of the film and that will reduce the clarity and resolution. The film will not be a good. Now, washing is also important. Washing serves preliminary to remove the fixing bath chemicals. The fixer needs to be removed by washing. Incompletely washed film turns brown with the age. So, if you are keeping film for a long time, if they are looking brown, that means the fixer has not been washed from the film. The retained hypo will react with the silver image to form a brown silver sulphide and that will be a foggy film that we don't want. We want to film look same for long time. Now, in the summary, the XA film is a photographic film coated with the emulsion on both sides of the film. This film is exposed, XA is taken of any anatomy or structure you want. The light sensitive material in the emulsion is silver iodobromide crystals. XA film is only slightly sensitive to direct extra exposure and more images formed by the visible light which is in term created by the cassette or in the cassette there are intensifying screens. Now, extensive detail of the screens X cassettes is covered in some other lecture. Impurities in the silver halide crystals structure increases the light sensitivity of the film emulsion. So, that needs to be taken care. Light or the extra exposure causes the grains in the emulsion to develop an invisible latent images. The developing process magnifies the latent image. In the process, a visible pattern of the black metallic silver is produced, which is seen, what we are seeing on the X-ray film is this black metallic silver. The sensitivity of X-ray film to direct light exposure varies with the KV of the X-ray beam. So, with that, we are coming to the end of this lecture. I thank you for giving me your valuable time. Do visit our website for such or similar videos than many other aspects of radiology learning. Do visit our website or our YouTube channel. Thank you. Goodbye and take care. See you meet again in the next lecture. Goodbye and take care. चालू, एसीबीसी चालू करा